Detailed demonstrations. Remember that four key areas can be sharpened. The primary cutting edge and the secondary clearance angle of each flute. The primary cutting edge and the secondary clearance angle on the end. Before sharpening, insert into the air spindle the correct 5 seat collet for your end mill shank diameter. Place the end mill in the collet just before the beginning of the flutes. And set the locking dog. Tighten using the draw tube. Also, ensure that the motor direction is correct. The wheel should turn clockwise to sharpen high-speed steel and cobalt end mills. It should turn counterclockwise to sharpen carbide end mills. Step 1. Set the stylus. As you pull the spindle, the stylus guides the cutting edge following the contour of the flute. With the stylus in the primary position, loosen the size adjustment knob and slide the stylus in or out until it is set in the center of the end mill flute. Each time a new end mill is sharpened, you will position the stylus according to the end mill diameter. Verify the stylus is positioned correctly before sharpening. Do a practice run. When the stylus is set in both the primary and secondary positions, the end mill should flow smoothly over the stylus. If the end mill drags as you pull, you will need to reposition the stylus. Step 2. Sharpen the flutes. Now you are ready to sharpen the primary edges of the flutes. You sharpen the flutes from the shank to the end. Thread the end mill onto the stylus until the shank is as close to the stylus as possible. Turn on the motor and advance the feed knob until the wheel lightly touches the end mill. Then advance one to two graduations more. Note that each increment of the feed knob represents two one thousandths of an inch in movement. Sharpen by slowly pulling the end mill away from the wheel until it comes off the stylus. Push the clearance handle down and thread the next flute on the stylus. Slowly release the clearance handle and again pull the end mill until it comes off the stylus. Repeat this process for each flute. Now, sharpen the secondary clearance angle. You do not always need to sharpen the secondary geometry. The primary cutting edge should be one quarter the width of the entire land. Only sharpen the secondary when the primary cutting edge is too wide, more than one half the width of the land. Move the stylus into the secondary position by loosening the knob and rocking the fixture up and back as far as possible. Sharpen the secondary as you did the primary cutting edge. Thread the end mill onto the stylus as close to the shank as possible. Move the feed knob into the secondary until it touches. Then pull until the end mill comes off the stylus. Then push down the clearance handle, reposition, release the handle, and repeat until the secondary clearance angle on all flutes have been sharpened. Step 3. Sharpen the ends. The outer edge of the grinding wheel is the only part of the wheel that is used to sharpen. It is critical that this edge be sharp. See your user manual to learn about dressing the wheel. When sharpening the ends, set the index collar for the number of flutes on your end mill. With the motor off, move the stylus pin out of the path of the wheel. Loosen the index collar, slide forward on the spindle, and rotate until the index pin drops in one of the holes marked with the appropriate number of flutes. For example, two, if your end mill has two flutes. Now, move the spindle forward, leaving the pin engaged, so that the outside corner of the wheel can grind the end of the end mill. Turn the spindle to position the cutting edge so that they are horizontal. To secure this position, tighten the locking knob on the indexing collar. Turn on the motor and, using both the feed and cross-feed knobs, move the wheel toward the end mill until it lightly touches the end. Sharpen the primary angle by using the feed knob to feed the wheel across the end mill with a slow, even motion until the edge of the wheel reaches the center. Reverse the feed knob to move the wheel to the outer edge. Pull up the index pin and rotate the spindle to the next hole marked with the appropriate number of flutes and sharpen that flute end. Sharpen as before and repeat until all flutes have been sharpened. Sharpen the secondary clearance angle only when the primary cutting edge has become too wide. Loosen the spindle knob, 
and move the spindle lever to the right so the spindle is in its lowest position. Sharpen the secondary clearance angles on the end with the same procedure used to sharpen the primary cutting edges. Relief angles on flutes. Changing the relief angles on the flutes is simple. Instead of aligning the stylus in the middle of the outside edge of the wheel, use the cross feed knob to move the wheel edge. The further to the left you go, the more relief you will get. Move the wheel to the right to reduce the relief. Maintenance and cleaning. Your Derex is a precision tool and should be cleaned regularly to remove dust and grit. Accumulated dust and grit affect the accuracy and effectiveness of your sharpened end mills and grit can wear and plug the air spindle sleeve. When you clean, use a lint-free cloth to clean the outside of the air spindle. Alcohol can be used to clean the inside of the air spindle. Cleaning the collets with compressed air will ensure the collets are centered in the air spindle. In addition to dust and grit, you will need to periodically dress your grinding wheel. See your manual for more information. At Derex, we want to ensure that you are fully satisfied with your product. Consult your user's guide and our website for additional information and contact numbers. Thank you for buying Derex.